Michelle's here from uh, Lamer's Dairy. We're making things from scratch today, and they sell these flavored coffee creamers in the store, but have you ever thought about making your own? Cheaper to make, you probably have most of the ingredients to make them on hand, and uh, I'm dying to taste them because I'm sure they taste a million times better than the, the ones at the store. Well, I think it's one of those products that start, you know, you start having it, and then it, it grows and grows and grows, and you kind of think it's a good thing, but then actually, like you said earlier, if you turn the label around, it's palm oil, it's corn syrup, it's all kinds of bad things. So we're going to actually make um, a homemade creamer mm -hmm. with things that you, very simple, um, but going to what talk about jazzing up a cup of coffee. I am addicted to coffee, you know that by now. Can't start my morning without it, can't start the show without it. So we're using Lamer's um, Heavy Whipping Cream and Half and Half, which is the best we love their milk, we love your cream, we love their half and half. Um, it's just, it's the most wonderful stuff. Local dairy right, right. here. And it's it's not full of junk. It's a, you know, it's a, a very, um, when I think of homemade, I think healthy, I think authentic, real. So this is a real coffee creamer that we're gonna make today. Mm. Okay. Some real ingredients. Okay, so we started, one of the ones that we're gonna make, we have three different flavors. We have vanilla, a chocolate cinnamon, and an almond. Mm -hmm. I love almond, I'm all about almond. So we actually started by toasting some sliced almonds in the pan. Uh, you do it on the stovetop, I do it too, because that way I, I, you know, don't forget it's there. You can also toast them in the That's oven, right. but sometimes out of sight, you get busy doing other right. things and you burn the nuts. So you don't want to do that. So. That's right, they can burn so easily. So this, a few minutes uh, in a dry skillet and they're all toasted and then we're gonna put them in the we're blender. We're gonna put them in the blender. And okay. actually, um, as you mentioned, there's kind of a base recipe, which is, um, a half a cup. I'm making small quantities, okay. you know, because this is a natural product, so it will expire. And unlike the stuff in the store that lasts like three months, and right. because it's chock full of things that make it last three months, I'm just doing a cup at a time, and which is nice, then you can change out the flavors. Okay. So it's very simple. Kind of the base recipe is a half a cup of half and half, okay. and a half a cup of whipping cream. Okay. And it goes right in the blender with right the. Right in the blender. Okay. And that's going to be a little bit. Is that right? Half a cup? Uh, oh, okay. Is that right? Yeah. yeah. Okay. Looked like more to me. It did. <laughs> I was like, ooh. But this is a really, really easy recipe, and like you said, it's so impressive. And actually, it's quite gifty, too. I mean, you could put this together for a gift for someone. And just make sure they refrigerate it. What a That's neat right. idea for a coffee lover. That's right. And okay. So then we'll just add the sugar. Okay. So we've got a little bit of sugar. And then we're just going to give it a whir to kind of uh, grate up the um, almonds okay. and then to also... Um, dissolve the sugar and we don't want to do it too much or we'll end up with whipped cream. Okay. But you don't want to see the nuts, I take it. Is that what we're kind of... We're going to strain the nuts out. Oh, we're going to strain the nuts right. out. Okay. But what we're going to do first is we're going to pour it into a saucepan. Okay, and do I see, is this vanilla? Do we put right. vanilla in Right, but we're going to add that after okay. we um, heat it up because the vanilla, it will um, lessen the flavor by heating it. So we're going to add that after we've put it on the stove and let it infuse. So okay. basically what we're going to do is infuse the milk and cream. I just wanted to check to see if that's an, a chopped sure, up. Sure, that'll be good enough. enough. Okay, sure. Okay, and so then we just pour it in a pan. Okay. And we're going to heat it. We don't want it to boil like crazy or anything. We just basically want to get some heat going so that we can um, facilitate that infusion process. Okay. Now you can do a speedy version too of these different creamers and then just not actually heat it. But okay. the heating actually thickens it a little bit and enhances the blending of the flavors. Okay. So yeah, we would just then let that um, heat up. Now we did the almond. If we were doing some of the other flavors, um, yeah, and tell us about the other two. Okay, the French vanilla is really the most popular flavor of the refrigerated ones. And basically the same master recipe, half a cup of whipping cream, half a cup of um, half and half, and then a little bit of sugar, a little bit of vanilla. Okay. So that's your base recipe. Um, and then, then you heat that together? You can do, I prefer to heat them all, um, just warm it up. Okay. And then, as I said, it kind of uh, facilitates the blending of the ingredients. Or you can do an express version. I, I heard you talking about um, you know, shaking. You can mm -hmm. actually put it in a jar and shake it up. You don't even have to go, go the blender route if you want something quick in the morning. So you basically get the same results. Um, but um, I personally like to heat it because it gets a little creamier. I understand. Okay, so this has started to heat a little bit. So now yeah. we add our vanilla? Well, actually, what we would do is we would turn this off okay. and let it just sit okay. after we've heated it up. And then when it's cool, 
Um, we would add the vanilla. We can go through those processes if you want sure, to let's and do show. It. Uh -huh. And so we'll assume that this has been heated and infused. Okay. Um, now we'll we put the vanilla in now? Sure. Okay. And then we actually want to strain this out and we, we um, actually, Ann, if I could grab a bowl from you. You betcha, I've got one right here. Thanks, Amy. And then all we would do is I have a fine mesh strainer and what that would do is get the bits out of the almonds. And I have to say, I'm, um, I took the almonds from my, the sample that I made ahead of time, put them in my oatmeal. Ooh. Oh my gosh, it was so good. I don't Ooh. throw anything away. Yeah. I don't waste anything. So you can see this will strain out the pieces of almond that we have. And you can just, this is a super fine mesh. You don't have to use this. This is kind of a professional grade. Uh, oh, one. but I'm saying, I see what you're saying. So yeah. the leftovers here on top of oatmeal yes. would be fantastic. Oh gosh, Ooh. it's gorgeous. Ooh. And you know, you don't want to throw those away. I don't no. know, um, you know, if you don't want, if you don't mind those in your coffee, you know, by all means, but I just, you know, what you want to do is press out all the goodness and then this is ready to go, put it in a container? That's and right, put it in the fridge and you're good to go. It would expire um, like the, uh, the date on your um, heavy cream or your half and half. I'd go with whichever one is sooner. So well, I'm gonna try is, some of it. Is this, is this which one is That's the it? almond, yes. Okay. Oh, I'm sorry, that's a French vanilla. This is the chocolate and this is the almond. I have to taste this oh, with my coffee. Wow, oh, what a fun way to jazz up coffee for sure. Mm, that's fantastic. Really, really good.